Retirement is when you either start growing up and you want to you want to start like taking a break from your job. It means when you've did your job long enough and then you get old, so you stop working. When you've inspired so many people, you have to take a break. Maybe they want to go to sleep because they're tired. And if you have like heart heart problems, you can't do it anymore. They know that when they leave, people will miss them. Like Michael Jordan will retire playing basketball. They think they've done their best and it's time to move on. They get to relax and like <laughs> do basically whatever they want. And um, watch the TV. Go to the center where the older people would go. But they have like a big long vacation. <laughs> She does announcements and sings O Canada. She lets us do all these fun activities that make school really fun. The principal, I find, always give very motivating speeches. Well, she does really nice things for us. She buys the pizza. And she talked to you like she was on your level. Like she talked like she was one of the kids and she made you feel really safe. She relaxes in her office, right, Miss Stacy? She always threw up those high fives and she always made funny jokes. To look after the kids and also to look after the teachers. The principal's there to like, I think, like just be there for the students and then the secretary there does all the hard work. If something's ever going wrong, you can always talk to your school secretary. Her job is like, if you're sick, she'll call home. You go to the school secretary because when you're hurt. She has really good band-aids. Ice packs and bandages and things like that. They, they're the ones that give you the late slips. And guess what? She, she gives you a birthday pencil after their birthday. And they're always happy, they always like hugs, they're always smiling, and they always make your day. Wow. I don't think our school would work without our secretary. We know she's the real boss of the school. A vice principal's job is to like build relationships with kids and like walking around the school and checking in with people more often. Keep us safe. They're kind of like a second pair of eyes. So if the principal missed anything, um, they'll, they'll be sure to pick that up. If our teacher is not here, she 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 sometimes be our substitute teacher teacher. He would enforce rules, but then was also super funny. Um, I think she cancels parties, stuff like that. Hi. My helpers are awesome. I like my APAs because they take me to classes I like. And they help us with our work. But when you see him, he's always like so nice and like greets you. He's uh, happy. He's like he seems like one of your friends. The EPA in our school is really kind. She's just a great person. She helped me like with my visual impairment. She made it so that I could like see the board. Miss Michelle helped me learn. He sweeps the stairs all the time. Because if we had a dirty school, everybody would keep on tripping on food and stuff. If there's a spill, he cleans it up. Fixing the schools when it breaks. In the winter, he goes down with a big cleaner down the halls. And there was this one time when all the primaries were just gathered around him, and I didn't know why. Then I heard some music, and then I was like, oh, that's Mr. Jollymore. He plays a guitar for the students. He would come into our class, he would like play games with us and stuff. Uh, he has this thing called the green team where he, um, he'll have like pizza parties and everything. He's more than just a caretaker. They know a lot of books in the library. They help you find books that are just right for you. She really helped me 
choose books and get into books and help me grow as a reader. She also has Star Wars books. I love Star Wars. <laughs> My phys ed teacher, he used to always tell me that I can do something. I can be on a team, I can, I can actually be something. And when I start doing the things he told me, I felt more strong. I could do anything. Well, he just really gave me a lot of like self-confidence. Definitely the guidance counselor. They are like that one person who is outside of the home that you feel super comfortable talking to. My grade seven teacher. She was like a big inspiration. She was really nice and respectful, and she made me feel welcome in the school. Uh, one of the main things was her smile. Uh, when you came to school every day, and even if you're having a bad day, her smile made you feel better. Like that's why she's always pushing us, because she just wants to see us do our best and just succeed. Sure, I want to be a teacher because of her. Teachers are the greatest. Somebody else go first. What's a regional county manager? Uh, they keep track of the money, maybe? A regional county manager? Manager? <laughs> I have no idea. What's operation? I don't even know what operation means. An operation is like when you get hurt and you have to get you know, your leg removed or your arm removed. I think they figure out about humans. Thank you to behind the scenes people. We know that you're back there supporting us. I just want to say thank you. Thank you a lot for teaching me the life lessons that you did. Thank you for helping me through my my tough paths. Thanks for being nice to me. Thank you to everyone that helped us learn. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you. Thanks for everything you do for me. Congratulations. Congratulations on your time. And Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations. You made a difference.